I'm Mark Kulenengel. I'm the principal transmission engineer with the Omaha Public Power District. And behind me is one of the towers from our 345 kV transmission line. This tra tower is part of a larger transmission line that runs from Minneapolis all the way down to Kansas City. The Nebraska portion of this line was divided into three segments, north of Omaha. The central part of Omaha, which this line is here, which is a double circuit line to support uh, more power flow through the Omaha City area. And then, of course, then south of Omaha, the last segment was built. Towers itself were galvanized in 1969, erected the same year. The line was energized in 1970 as part of this uh, large interconnect project between Omaha Plug Power District and five other utilities. I'm Patrick Hutchison with the Omaha Public Power District. I'm a maintenance optimization engineer. This is a uh, 161 kV transmission tower. It's been around since around 1970. It shows that the galvanizing process has lasted 40 plus years. The maintenance for this particular line has been pretty low. Uh, we did do a ground line inspection and treatment, which goes in and evaluates the overall section loss of the tower. We did not show any deterioration at this time, so that just again reinforces you know, the reliability of the galvanizing process. We have galvanized many other types of structures. We have distribution class structures and we have uh, vaults that are underneath the downtown network. All of those different components use the hot dip galvanizing process. Now, Omaha in the Midwest, this region, the uh, harshest climate that we run in through is a freeze thaw effect where we can have 100 degree changes in temperature. Um, galvanizing doesn't really get affected too much by that over time. In general, the four seasons we have in Omaha the galvanizing process is favorable. We've had a long history with galvanize. Our first uh, galvanized lattice or transmission towers was built back in uh, the 1950s. Uh, the benefit of hot dip galvanizing, it is uh, provided us with longevity and durability of the coating system. What you're looking at here is the original coating. We have not uh, done any touch up to the upper structure. We have tried other types of structures. We keep falling back to hot dip galvanizing as our primary coating for our lattice towers and steel poles. The steel pole lines provide the kind of the inner service off of these lines to to more the residential substations off the bulk system. In general, for OPPD and the utility work, the galvanizing process has been favorable. Um, when I think about new projects that OPPD would undertake with a transmission line, we would definitely evaluate the galvanizing process just because we get that 60 plus year life out of it.